Hey, y'all, I'm Rick Allen, host of Rick's House Home Improvement Television Show. We'd love to have you with us on Saturday mornings from 7 to 7.30 as we talk home improvement and have a little fun along the way. You never know who'll come in the house. Sunday mornings, 5 to 5.30. You can watch us on Fox 28 WPGX. Come on in the house and see what's happening at Rick's House. Oh, well, it's Rick's House. If you got a question, he'll help you figure it out. Cause it's Rick's house. You know, they've got a lot of flooring here at Surplus Warehouse, and we find ourselves in front of the um, engineered flooring. And this, when I first looked at it, the finish on it's so nice, I wasn't quite sure if it was solid or if it's engineered. That's what you're looking for. You want to make sure that it's thick enough on the top so that it's got a great veneer on top of it. This is a hand scraped veneer. And uh, it's got that hand scrape look, and man, it's just an absolutely beautiful product. Are y'all got? Are y'all selling a lot of this, Chris? Uh, we're starting to again, yes, sir. It's a uh, it's a pretty neat product. It's pretty durable. Yes, sir. Can you refinish this or screed it so to speak? You can refinish it. Um, it does have that hand scrape finish on it, so it's a little harder than just a normal flat hardwood floor. But it is able to since it is hardwood. And when we talk about that, when we talk about hardwood flooring, and depending on where you're at in the region, here's a Rick's house tip for you. If it's a engineered flooring, we want to know how thick that veneer is because the process is not as traditional as in a full hardwood floor where we're completely sanding it down and reapplying the finish. When we screed a hardwood floor, what we're doing is nearly lightly sanding and filling back into the gaps. And most of them can do that and look fantastic. See a flooring professional for that. Hey everybody, we're in the extension cord, the electrical section at Lowe's. And I want to take some time to talk about this because this is something we've talked about a lot on our radio show, but now that I'm on Fox 28 and I've got the opportunity to show you some of the things, this is what I want to show you. See this extension cord? It's a 12-3. That's the same as the wiring in the walls of your house for standard outlets. This is the type of cord that we want to use when we're running tools. Understand now that there's two factors when you do extension cords. One is, is the length of the cord. You don't want a cord that's too long. It can be a little bit too long, but not way too long, so use the appropriate length, and you don't want a cord that's too small, because when it gets hot, hot creates fire. The other thing is, is that it's bad for the tool that you're using. So, if we're going to use power tools, if we're going to run something heavy duty, not super heavy duty, but the average tool, we want to go with at least a 12 gauge cord. Now, the bigger the number the gauge gets, the smaller the wire is. So let's move from here up to a 14 gauge. Now here we have a 14 gauge cord, okay? This is good for tools okay. Um, depending on where you are in the county and depending on where you're watching this or listening to us, you can also have 14 wire in your house as well when you have for lights and things like that. Everybody's different. Everybody's codes are different. 14's a little lighter gauge, it'll tell you. Yeah, it's 15 amps. We can run power tools. It's not my preferred method, but it's okay. If, as long as we don't get a saw that's too big, again, keep in mind, the longer the length, the more important the gauge is, okay? And then when we move from that, that's a 50-foot cord, into a 16-gauge. Now, 16-gauge is going to drop you down to 13 amps. This is where we're going to run the leaf blower, the electric weed, it, you know, those things that don't pull many amps. We don't have to worry about a big, strong electrical pull on it. We're just doing what we got to do. It's okay for that. Always read your warnings, always read your labels. Make sure it's UL listed as this product is. And then we come down to what nobody should own. This is $1.62 for a reason. Yes, Jeff, I know that you have one of these behind the television in your house, and there's 17 things att attached to it with adapters. I can see this from here. Jeff being our film, our film camera guy and our production guy, just kidding, man. But all jokes aside, these are dangerous. They have very specific use, like running one low voltage candle for the, for the holiday, okay? So it tells you what you can use on it. It's a 16 gauge indoor only, but I promise you folks, don't overload them. So many house fires and so many people have lost lives because of these. Not that I'm picking on them. They're fine as long as you use it for what it's designed for. That's a Rick's House tip from the electrical aisle here in Lowe's. We'll be back here in a minute. Hang on, y'all.
You know, I grew up in a house as an electrician's son, and I figured out right fast that I didn't want to do electricity for a living. Why? Because it takes a professional. Let me tell you about the professionals at Keith and Sons Electric. Great friends of the Rick's House program. They are the electrical contractor that we like to recommend, who's with over 15 years of experience. They've built their company servicing the residential community and doing the commercial stuff. Solar systems, new construction, remodeling, bucket truck service, pools, spas, jacuzzis, wiring, electrical generator installations, panel upgrades, gas station wiring, and more. Whether it's troubleshooting or repair, we want you to call the team at Keith and Sons Electric, 763-6599. That's 850-763-6599 or find them online at rickshouseradioshow.com. Go to game. Keith and Sons Electric, we make the impossible doable. Keith and Sons Electric, getting the job done from bucket trucks to small residential. Professional electric services done the way they should be. Keith and Sons Electric Company, a Rick's house favorite. Hi, I'm Dave Williams with Mid-South Lumber Install Pros. Do you have windows and doors that don't operate correctly? Is the glass fog? Can you feel cold air coming in? Let the Install Pros at Mid-South Lumber replace those old windows and doors for you. Go from this to this, from this to this, and from this to this. Improve the looks of your home while increasing your home's value and lowering your power bills. Call me personally, Dave Williams at Mid-South Lumber Install Pros, 215-5185. That's 215-5185. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Katie. We want to take this chance to invite you to watch our reality show called Gears. Sunday nights at 9.30. On Fox 28. Hey y'all, I cannot tell you how long, for how long that I've wanted to be able to just walk through a Lowe's or, or a Home Depot store or a Menards or wherever we may be across the country and just let things jump out at me so that it reminds me of what I need to be telling you about how you can save money on your house. This is what we call a piece of Q-Lon weather stripping. It's the typical weather stripping for the sides and the top of the door in most doors in most homes in this part of the world. It is so easy to replace y'all, but it is so important because we forget about it. We forget that, you know, where there's air coming around those doors, my dog has tore the bottom of mine off. It's a $5 fix. It's going to save you tons of money on your electric bill. And this is when you hear me say, get you a piece of Q-Lon, this is what it is. It's very easy to install. You just pull the other one out, and then you see how the gap is right here. It has some little flanges on the back side that hold it in. You just install it in, you're ready to go. Another great way that you can save money, and I hope it helps you around your house. You know, it's part of the show when we're wherever we may be today. We're at Surplus Warehouse, or we may be at Mid-South Lumber, we may be at Lowe's, we may be at wherever we're at. You know, I always learn something as I have saw a new product on, on one of the episodes here at Surplus Warehouse, and I'm also seeing something right here that the guy shared with me. And I want to pass it along to you as our, as our viewer because or our listener, whichever one you may be, radio show or television, or watching us on YouTube or on Fox 28, wherever you find us. We want to help you to save money. That's what this is all about. It's why I do what I do. And somebody blows at me as we go by. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but I think that's cool. But anyway, we want to save you money. And one of the guys was telling me, you know, when you have a manufactured home, and I lived in a manufactured home with my family for several years, and I'm a fan of manufactured housing and modular housing and all types of housing because they all serve the needs as wherever we may be in that time. But one of the things that happens is when you have a manufactured house that's 16 feet wide, you're 15 feet inside, you have a lot of waste when you use sheet linoleum. And so you're paying for a lot of product that you can't use and it gets thrown out or you try to use it here and there. But the end result is, is you're spending more money than you should. This product is designed, this is a vinyl plank. It's six inches wide and 36 inches long. Now listen, this stuff is extremely sticky and this is designed to take the place, not just in mobile homes or any home, but it's designed for mobile homes in one respect because it's three feet wide. So you can use five of these panels and have no waste. So you're not spending money on a laminate sheet that's wider or more narrow than what you have, and it'll help you put money back in your pocket. Not to mention, it's pretty doggone look, good looking stuff. So that's a Rick's House tip for you that I learned from my friends at Surplus Warehouse today. You know, when we talk about weather stripping, one of the things that we forget to tell you about is that we don't check windows and we don't check doors. We want to make sure that we eliminate draft because draft in your home is your enemy. Draft is what makes you feel cold. 
Draft is, draft is what makes your heat and air circulate, your temperature on your thermostat go down. It's, 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 it's just like having something in your house that you can't control, but you can control it. Now, when we talk about replacing the weather stripping on doors, what we wanna do is, is if you have a steel door, most likely this is the type of weather stripping you have on the bottom. As it wears, it creates gaps. Very easy to replace. You pull the old one out, but what you wanna look for is the two indentions that pop up into the hollowness of the steel frame on the bottom. This would be for a steel entry door. Now let's say you don't have a steel entry door. You've got a wood door or a fiberglass door or this doesn't work for you. The other option is a door weather stripping that looks like this. Oop, I feel like a ninja fighting in the home improvement war. What happens is, is this applies to the inside and you apply it with screws to the face of the door and then it butts up to the bottom of the door and works perfectly. Two options for you to help you get that weather stripping done right and keep that draft out so your energy bills go down. Another tip on Rick's house. All right, it's my favorite part of the show. It's a chance when we get to give you guys something and it doesn't cost you a thing. All you gotta do is go to rickshouseradioshow.com. That's rickshouseradioshow.com and tell me why you need this do a fast coil nailer. Now this is something that's innovative. It's a cordless roofing coil nailer, but it's not just battery powered. It also has a fuel cell. It's the complete kit. It has four coils and nails, two batteries, one fuel cell, comes in a backpack with safety glasses and the cord. This is a $500 tool that our friends at Do A Fast are giving you. And we want you to get, it comes with a full one year warranty as well. So here's how you get to us. Go to rickshouseradioshow.com and register to win. You gotta tell me why you need it. And we're gonna pick somebody to win it in the next couple months. It could be you. And I guess what, we're gonna throw in a Rick's House prize too. And I'll tell you what that is. That'll be a surprise. Thanks for listening to us today. Be sure and go to the website and register. Find us on Facebook or on Twitter. Thank y'all. Rick's Wardrobe provided by NeckLife. To get your NeckLife gear, go to rickshouseradioshow.com. When you sit down with an accountant to plan for your financial future, trust counts. And when you choose a doctor to care for your loved ones, trust counts. And when you choose a roofing contractor to protect you from the storms, trust counts. Tadlock Roofing. When trust counts. Proud to be North Florida's only Owens Corning Platinum Preferred Contractor. To learn more, go to WinTrustCounts.com. WinTrustCounts.com. Hey, y'all, being from the country, I've learned one thing for sure. Your equipment can be the difference in a good year or a bad one. That's why I choose Beard Equipment. Quality products like John Deere and Steel, chainsaws, tractors, lawnmowers, you name it, they've got it. Parts, service, and a team you can count on. Call them today, 850-769-4844. That's 850-769-4844. Remember, Beard Equipment, a team you can count on. 4625 Highway 231, Panama City, or online at Beard Equipment. You know, one of the good things that came out of the bad hurricanes in New Orleans was our friend Trudy and Jan came to Panama City, and guess what? They brought that Cajun place with them. Fantastic meals, Friday afternoon crawfish broils, and the great Cajun food. Good lunch specials, so let's go on in and see what they're cooking today. Hi, I'm Trudy White, owner and chef at That Cajun Place. Originally from home, Louisiana, I bring authentic Cajun cooking from Panama City Beach. We offer a variety of full boy sandwiches, all served on authentic French bread from New Orleans. The menu includes things like the Big Easy, the Houdat, Bayou Club, and the Nolans. Also try a bowl of our award-winning chicken and andouille sausage gumbo with a half a po' boy for only $7.50. Every Friday night we have a Cajun seafood boil featuring whatever seafood is in season. Right now we're doing shrimp and blue crabs, including corn, potatoes, and mushrooms, and whatever else we can throw in the pot. It's like having New Orleans right here in Panama City. It's delicious. It's about being back home. It's great. And we're from Louisiana, and it is up to the park. Up to the park? Up to the park. Come join us at that Cajun place located at 8019 Thomas Drive, right next door to Salt Lake Tavern, where you can come and enjoy authentic Cajun cooking right on the beach. We're open from 11 to 9 Monday through Saturday and closed on Sunday. Go Saints.
Well, here I am in the middle of the DeWalt section and the tool section here at Lowe's, and Brad Staggs is nowhere to be found. That's surprising to me, but you know what? I did find him, and we got a segment on the program today I think you're going to enjoy. It's our new Tool School segment, and he's going to be telling you something really cool and showing you something really cool. Let's go over to Brad and see what's going on. Hey, guys. Staggs here in the Tool School Workshop. Today we are going to look at the brand new DeWalt DCN 690. This is their 20 volt max cordless framing nailer. There's a lot I like about this actually and a couple things I think could use improvement. We'll take a look at what those are and more after we take a look at the fact sheet. I use this in a remodeling uh, situation on a media room, building a soffit around the perimeter of uh, this old uh, house. So basically, uh, we're dealing with uh, you know 50, 60 year old lumber as the backer, and uh, that can be pretty enough, uh, pretty tough on nails sometimes. So. Yeah, there's actually uh, quite a few things I like about this uh, nailer. Uh, first of all, in the interest of full disclosure, I have uh, always been kind of a pass load person. And the thing about it is that was the very first cordless nailer I ever owned. So I judge everything against that. So that's kind of my baseline so you understand. But with this DCN 690, DeWalt has done a great job at coming up with a tool that is actually very functional without using a gas cartridge. It is all battery powered, their 20 volt max system. and does it have that telltale delay? Well, yes, but I actually found a way around that. And I'll tell you about that here in just a couple of minutes. Right out of the box, you get the nailer, the charger, and the 20 volt max battery, plus a set of instructions. All right, let's start our little tour of the DCN 690 at the nose. DeWalt was thoughtful enough to put a little soft nose tip there. You can leave that in place if you're gonna be working with anything delicate, but this is a framing nailer, so you'll probably end up just removing that altogether. Very handy depth of drive adjustment and a nice chunky wheel there, so you can get your, uh, your fingers uh, onto it. And it has the uh, rubberized over mold, so it's very easy to grasp and get a hold of. It's very smooth in operation, has little detents and clicks every half turn or so, so you can keep up with where you are. I found, of course, most of the time I had that thing buried, uh, but then again, working with this 60-year-old uh, pine, uh, it's, you know, that stuff's pretty tough to, to drive a nail in. I also found that using three-inch nails as opposed to three and a halves worked a lot better. Uh, you'll also see a little lever on the front. That is the stall lever. If the plunger ever, st ever sticks in the down position and uh, the, the nailer won't fire, you slide this lever forward. Now, we'd love to show you how it works, but we honestly, it, it did it once uh, during the entire time we were using it and we couldn't get it to repeat it. So that's actually good news for DeWalt. There's also a little light on the back of the head of the nailer that uh, will warn you if there's a, a jam or a stall, it'll flash an amber color so you'll know what's going on. Along the side, you'll find the bump fire sequential switch. It operates smoothly and uh, didn't give us any problem. Moving around to the lock button, it's in a convenient place for your thumb. If you are a, a person who locks your nailer when it's not in use, which is always a good idea, uh, you won't have any trouble finding this with your fingers. Let's look at the uh, rafter hook. It's got four positions, two of which, yeah, kind of worthless. The other two, uh, hey, they're great. Hang it on a rafter, hang it on any uh, two by uh, lumber. Uh, the fourth position, it folds it up neatly under the handle. That's where I found myself using it most of the time, but if you are a rafter hook person, you're gonna find that position two is your preferred position. From a balance perspective, the nailer wanted to kind of roll to one side, but I, that's because of the offset magazine probably more than anything else. And the way they have to get all of the electronics and everything else in here, I can understand why that would happen. Um, nothing, it's not a deal breaker, it's just something I noticed out of the box. Didn't affect operation, but one of those things where you feel it in your hand, we all noticed it. Loading the nails into the magazine, very simple process. You slide the pusher latch into the open position, slide your nails in and depress the pusher latch, locks them down, we're good to go. The battery is a slide pack, it has the uh, 20 volt max system of course, so you got your fuel gauge there and it uh, slides in quite easily. We're all locked and loaded. I actually think this nailer works better, the DCN 690 on, or on uh, bump fire mode than on sequential mode. We set a few nails here on the uh, just a couple scrap pieces of lumber, and in sequential mode, you get that, like I said, that telltale little slight delay before it kicks in. Now, you put it on bump fire, and that nailer will just, well, you get the picture right there. This thing 
flies in, in uh, bump fire mode. I was real impressed, and it's probably just uh, simply because of the forward motion. You've already got that, the whole weight of this thing moving forward, and uh, you know, you, uh, obviously you're helping it bury the nail itself. Real impressive on bump fire. Clearing a jam nail. Now that's an interesting process, and yeah, one of my other gripes. Uh, the fact that it uses an Allen wrench. Um, I just don't like any process that requires an extra tool, because what always happens to the tool? You end up losing it. Now this one rides at the back of the back magazine. It has a little, uh, couple of clips that hold it in place. You pull it out, you loosen and, uh, well, you basically just loosen the two cap screws at the front uh, of the magazine there. Make sure the battery's out, of course, and the gun has no nails in it, uh, aside from the one that's jammed. And once you get those loosened, the magazine actually folds away. It's kind of an interesting configuration. It folds away from the rest of the nailer. You clear your jam. If you have to push the plunger back up inside there, you do that. And then you close the magazine and make sure you tighten those uh, cap screws at the front. And also remember to put that Allen key back uh, in its home so it's there the next time that you need it. Overall, I think that DeWalt has a winner on their hands with a DCN 690. Real impressed with the performance, uh, real impressed with most of the features on it. If you are someone who does not like that telltale lag uh, of battery uh, operated uh, nailers, uh, it, may, well, it may irritate you just a little bit. It is not going to be the same as a pneumatic nailer. But I think this nailer has a bright future. Uh, it's a very, uh, it's an impressive nailer, especially for a 20 volt uh, battery only system. Again, it only uses the battery and no fuel cell. So. Here at uh, Tool School, we give the DCN 690 from DeWalt, their cordless nailer, 20-volt max system, an A. Hi, I'm Dave Williams with Mid-South Lumber Install Pros. Do you have windows and doors that don't operate correctly? Is the glass fog? Can you feel cold air coming in? Let the Install Pros at Mid-South Lumber replace those old windows and doors for you. Go from this to this, from this to this, and from this to this. Improve the looks of your home while increasing your home's value and lowering your power bills. Call me personally, Dave Williams at Mid-South Lumber Install Pros, 215-5185. That's 215-5185. Um, hi, I'm, I'm Brad. I'm an Aries. I like romantic candlelit dinners. I love long, slow strolls on a deserted beach. Puppies and puppy breath. I love puppy breath. But what really turns me on more than anything else is the latest issue of Pro Tool Reviews magazine. Oh, I love it. Every issue has great tool tests, tool reviews, and the latest tool information. Written by the people who know, people who use tools every day. Go to ProToolReviews.com and get your subscription now. Puppy not included. When you sit down with an accountant to plan for your financial future, trust counts. And when you choose a doctor to care for your loved ones, trust counts. And when you choose a roofing contractor to protect you from the storms, trust counts. Tadlock Roofing, when trust counts. Proud to be North Florida's only Owens Corning Platinum Preferred Contractor. To learn more, go to WinTrustCounts.com. WinTrustCounts.com. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Katie. We want you to know we're proud to offer this area the best warranty on transmission repairs ever for as long as you own your car. Military and senior discounts, lifetime warranties, and transmission services starting at $49.95. Come, Come see, see us. us. All right, we're in the engineered hardwood flooring section here at Surplus Warehouse, and I want to give you a tip, something that I learned a long time ago. Chris, you and I have talked about this. This works for engineered hardwood as well as laminates. A couple things that you have to be aware of when you're putting this product down. You can see it has a tab that goes together and then it also goes together end on end. You can see the veneers on the top and then underneath it's, it's different pieces of wood in order for it to have stability. Now, when we think about that, or we think about solid hardwood too, one of the things that we want to think about, especially with laminates are, is how this thing works. There is one thing that you have got to have if you're going to do, do this, and you don't want to do it yourself to become do it to yourself. It's very, very important. You've got to have an installation kit. 
Now those kits can run anywhere from 18 to $30. The kit they've got here is actually $7.95, Chris. That's a great price. And I'll have to say, it's about one of the heaviest kits that I've seen. And we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna let you hold that for me, Chris. What we talk about when we get the installation kit is the first thing that we get is a tapping block, okay? The tapping block is designed when we need to tap it in place this way, or if we need to tap it in place, well actually I'd be doing it from the other side, tapping it in place from this way. This gives a bumper or in a buffer between my hammer and the wood itself. And because it's smooth and even and sized to fit, it doesn't damage the wood or laminate. Step number one. Step number two is, is that we've got to be able to have something that pulls that together when we want to tap it, to tap it in the end, pat, 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 pat. See how it's coated so with vinyl so that it doesn't hurt, the, doesn't hurt the bar? Also, sometimes we have to pull it from the side. And then, there again, your hammer slides along here, tap, 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 okay? And that's a very heavy duty bar. Yes, Notice the felt strip on the back side so we're not scarring up the laminate or the uh, engineer hardwood. And the final thing that you're gonna see in the installation kit is quarter inch shims. Now, when you take these apart, we call them plumber's shims sometimes because that's what they look like. You can tell that we're able to use these in order to keep the distance from the wall that's necessary. Uh, we can use them to tighten, we can use them to do all kinds of things, depend on the depth. But there again, helping to make that floor system free floating. And once it's put together, these are removed and the trim is added around the edge. $7.95 will save you a, heart, a lot of heartache. Great product here at Surplus Warehouse. You know, there's so many caulks available. We're still in aisle four here at Lowe's. And you know, how do you know which caulk to use and which one's right? You know, a few things that we need to know about caulk is, is understand that silicone caulk is not paintable. Now, we do have new caulk that acts like silicone, like silicone, but, it, but it's, it's paintable. And so we have to be aware of that. But for the most part, you cannot caulk and use silicone caulk if you want to paint over it. Secondarily, we just had a gentleman in here, and, I, and before I started filming, I said, hey, what are you looking for? He said, well, I've got to re-caulk re -talk the bathtub. And I said, well, can I help you with that? I said, you want to be on TV? He said, oh, no, no, I don't want to be on TV. I said, okay. I said, you know that you've got to use a caulk that has a mildew side in it. He goes, no, I didn't know that. I said, so here's how you do it. Step one, you have to remove all the caulk around the tub, every bit of it, get it all out. Step two, you want to clean it with a solution. Some people like to use ble bleach and water. Some people like to use a cleaning agent. Whatever you want to use, you want to clean that, rinse it thoroughly, and then let it dry. It has to be completely dry because if it's not, it will create mildew again. Now, secondarily, you want to have a caulk like this DAP, for instance, that says kitchen, bath, and plumbing. It's going to tell us that it has got a mildew side in it, and it's going to help protect, not prevent, but help protect getting that dirty look around the bathtub again. So make sure you do that when you want to get that tub looking right. If not, check us out on Rick's house. We'll help you with it. I'd like to thank you for watching the episode today. We appreciate you joining us on Rick's house. We hope you'll be back with us next weekend as we're here Saturday mornings from 7 a.m. till 7.30 and Sunday mornings from 5 to 5.30. You never know who's going to be on Rick's house. We've got new sponsors coming your way. Please visit them and tell them that you've seen them on television, just like our newest sponsor, Necklife. Uh, it's a Necklife apparel, stickers. You've heard of those things that go in the windows. We've got them now. Find out more about this at rickshouseradioshow.com and we hope that we'll see you next week. Oh, well, it's Rick's house. If you got a question, he'll help you figure it out. Cause it's Rick's house.